myself, G. Malanagaud, Assistant Professor of Zoology, Virshav College. Our Virshav College is affiliated to the Vijayanagara Sri Krishna Devara University, Ballari. Today, we are going to discuss regarding the lipids. Today, I am going to deal with the lipids. First, I would like to give the introduction regarding the lipids. Lipids are the complex organic molecules made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. They are insoluble in water but are soluble in organic solvents like chloroform, benzene, ether, hot alcohol, etc. Chemically, they are esters of fatty acids. Lipids on hydrolysis yield fatty acids and glycerol. To describe the lipid mixtures obtained from natural sources, the term fats and oils are sometimes used. The difference between two lines uh, in their physical properties. Fats are solids and oils are liquids at room temperature. Fatty acid and glycerol are the building blocks of lipids. Let us, we know the definition of lipids. Lipids are the complex organic molecules formed by the condensation of fatty acids and alcohol, mainly the glycerol. Fatty acid. Fa they are long chain of organic acids with a carboxyl group at one end and methyl group at another end. There are varying number of carbon and hydrogen atoms between the two groups. Then the glycerol. It is a 3-carbon alcohol with 3 OH groups. All 3 OH groups undergo condensation with fatty acid to form a lipid. Hence, the lipid form is called triglyceride. Now, I will take the classification of fatty acids. The fatty acids are classified into two types, namely saturated and unsaturated fatty acids. <coughs> saturated fatty acids do not contain double bond. Some important saturated fatty acids found in plants are butyric acid, palmitic acid, stearic acid, caproic acid, etc. Good sources of saturated fatty acids are the coconut, palm oil, butter, groundnut oil, etc. Next one is the unsaturated fatty acids. And they contain one or more double bonds. It has lower melting point than the saturated fatty acids. Some important unsaturated fatty acids are folic acid, linolenic acid, the linolenic acid, etc. Good sources of the unsaturated fatty acids are the animal and plant fats, uh, linseed oil, cottonseed oil, etc. Let us, we know the comparison between unsaturated fatty acid and saturated fatty acids. Unsaturated fatty acids contain one or more double bonds, but saturated fatty acid containing only one bond between carbon atoms. Unsaturated fatty acids are liquids at room temperature, but saturated fatty acids are solid at room temperature. Unsaturated fatty acids have lower melting point, but saturated fatty acid have higher melting point. The unsaturated fatty acids are found in plants, but uh, saturated fatty acids are generally found in animals. Examples of unsaturated fatty acids are folic acid, linoleic acid. These examples of saturated fatty acids are stearic acid and lauric acid. Then let us start with the classification of lipids. The simple first one is the simple lipids. Simple lipids are the esters of fatty acids with glycerol. They include neutral fats and waxes. Neutral fats. Neutral fats are also called triglycerides. They are main energy rich sources of body. TGLs are formed by the condensation of three molecules of fatty acids with one molecule of glycerol. 
Glycerides are the storage products of both the plants as well as the animals. The glycerides of plants are in the form of oils. Vegetable oils are the good examples. Some vegetable oils are converted into fats after a process of hydrogenation. The glycerides of animals are in the form of fat. But in some pycolothermic animals like fish, it is in the form of oil. Neutral fats are insoluble in water. They are soluble in solvents such as ether, chloroform, benzene, etc. The melting point of fat varies according to the proportion of its various fatty acids. Fats may on hydrolysis yield glycerol and the sodium salts of the fatty acids which are usually soaps. This process is called saponification. Next one is the waxes. Waxes are the another type of simple lipids which differ from fats and oils in their chemical composition. They contain one molecular fatty acid and one high molecular weight alcohol other than glycerol. Waxes are highly insoluble in water and are chemically inert. They are resistant to atmospheric oxidation. They are hard and have a high boiling point. Waxes form coating to the exposed surfaces of leaves, fruits and on hairs and feathers. They either prevent evaporation of water or repel water and thus serve as water barriers in insects, birds and furred animals. Lanolin, bee wax and spermacity are the good examples of waxes. Lanolin is secreted in the skin of furred animals. Spermacity is secreted by the sperm whale. Bee wax is secreted by the Honeybees. Next one is the compound lipids. Compound lipids on hydrolysis yield fatty acids and glycerol along with the other compounds like phosphoric acid, sugar, protein, etc. Examples of compound lipids are phospholipids, the sphingolipids. Phospholipids. Phospholipids are the lipids containing phosphorus. They are also referred to as lecithins. Phospholipids are found in abundance in the brain, yolk, bile, liver and muscle cell tissue. Phospholipids form parts of all membranes of cells and they play a very important part in the organization of the cell. Lecithin and cephalin are the good examples of phospholipids. Then glycolipids. Glycolipids are found in abundance in the white matter of brain and nervous tissue. They contain glucose or galactose bound to a fatty acid molecule. They contain nitrogen but do not contain phosphorus. Then last one is the, the derived lipids. Derived lipids are not true lipids but have the ability to combine with the fatty acids. Hence are related to lipids. They are the substances derived from simple and compound lipids by hydrolysis. They are complex in structure. Examples of derived lipids are the steroids, sterols, and prostaglandins. Let us discuss about one by one the steroids. Steroids are the kind of alcohol which have the ability to form esters with fatty acid. They are the physiologically important since some of them form sex hormones like testosterone male, estrogen and progesterone in females. Testosterone. Testosterone is a male sex hormone produced by the interstitial cells or Leydig cells of the testis, which is responsible for the growth and development of male reproductive system and expression of male secondary sexual characters. Estrogen is a female sex hormone produced by the ovaries and responsible for growth and development of the female reproductive system and expression of female sex secondary sexual characters. Progesterone. The progesterone is also another female sex hormone secreted by the corpus luteum and placenta which is responsible for implantation of fertilized egg, maintenance of pregnancy and the growth of the mammary glands. Hence, the progesterone is also considered as the pregnancy hormone. Next one is sterols. 
Sterols are also known as steroid alcohols or a subgroup of the steroids and an important class of organic molecules. They occur naturally in plants, animals and fungi and can be also produced by some bacteria. Examples Cholesterol Exclusively found in animals, it is the structural component of cell membrane. It is the precursor for the number of hormones, uh, estradiol, the cortisol. Then last one is the prostaglandins. They are derivatives of fatty acids called prostanic acid. They act as local hormones and are produced in almost all tissues. And they are not stored and are degraded at the site of their origin. They are involved in a series of biological functions like regulation of blood pressure, gastric secretion, influence, immune system, etc. Now, I am going to take the importance of the lipids. The lipids performs various functions such as follows. First one is the structural lipids. Structural lipids like the phospholipids form the main building material of the cell membranes and membranes covering the cell organelles. Second one is the protective cover. Waxes forms a protective covering of the leaves, fruits, etc. in plants and protects the plants from excessive transpiration and in animals, hair, feather, fur, etc. forms water resistant. Third one is the sources of energy. The lipids also forms a rich source of energy both in plants as well as animals. Extra food in the body is converted and stored in the form of fat. Examples, oils like coconut, castor, soybean, sunflower, animal fat, etc. Fourth, the significance of a lipid is insulator. In mammals like whales, fat is deposited under the skin called blubber. It serves for the protection and heat insulation. Next, fats are usually found deposited around the vital organs like heart, lungs and kidney protects from their mechanical um, shocks. Regulation. The steroids which exist as hormones regulate a number of the physiological activities since most of the hormones are steroids. Excessive quantities of steroids like cholesterol in the human body may lead to atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis means nothing but the deposition of cholesterol and inner wall of the blood vessel that leads to the high BP. Biancy. It is in aquatic mammals like whales and seals, there is a thick layer of fat called blubber which acts as an insulator as well as helps in biancy. Last one is the Fats are the second best sources of energy after carbohydrates. I hope you may understand what we have discussed in this class. Thank you.